Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited yearly gift ideas video and I love doing these videos and let me just tell you guys I think that these are some of the best videos that I do on YouTube all year. I work so hard on these videos because I always want to make them really creative and really unique. I feel like buying gifts for certain people can be really hard because you feel like they have everything that they could ever need and you get stuck in this place of like, I don't know what to buy this person. So in my gift ideas videos, I really, really strive to give you guys completely unique ideas that you may have never thought of before. And that is like my main goal with these videos. And I feel like I do a pretty good job at it. So if you don't see anything in this video that you like or you think would work for any of your friends or family, definitely check out my past gift ideas videos from previous years because I feel like all of my gift ideas videos have had some really good and really unique products in there that you will definitely be able to use for your friends. So definitely check them out. The first product is actually something that my grandma got me one year and I wasn't really sure if I was gonna use it very much, but I've actually used it a lot since she got it for me, probably like five or six years ago. And it is a recipe organizer. And you can get these actually at Barnes Noble in like the cooking section and these are so handy especially if you have somebody maybe that's a little bit younger in their 20s and they don't have anything to like store their recipes in I know we have like apps and stuff now that you can store recipes in or you can go on Pinterest and stuff like that but I love having like a notebook or a recipe organizer that I can put like printed recipes that I really really like I can just put them in to my organizer um, I have like meal ideas in my organizer and it just makes life so much easier if I like can't think of what to make um, I can just go to my recipe organizer and like search through all of my favorite recipes that I've done in the past and I can use them it's a great idea I use mine all the time and I think that it's just a really handy gift so next is something that I'm so excited about and this is something Actually, the story of how this got into my video is really quite funny. So this one day I was over at my mom's and she always asked me what I want for Christmas, right? And I never know what to say because I just don't really need anything in my life. I never know what I want for Christmas. But I was over at her house and I was like, Mom, I just got the best idea. I know exactly what I want for Christmas. I was like, a wine subscription service. Like, that would be amazing. And... She's like, oh, that's a really good idea. And I was so excited because I was like, that's like exactly what I want. I drink a lot of wine and to have like new wine come to my door every month would be super fun. So the next day, literally the next day, I get on my computer and in my little email, there's a message from this company called Wink, W-I-N-C. And they are a wine subscription service. And I was like, oh, what? I was like, this is perfect. I was gonna put this in my video anyways. And so I ended up deciding to partner with them. And then I told Travis about it. I'm like, I'm partnering with this company called Wink. And he goes, really? I'd already signed up with them and I was going to buy that for you for Christmas. <laughs> so I just thought it was so funny and so ironic and just like such a big coincidence that they showed up in my email. But Wink is a wine subscription service. This is what the box looks like. And they send you four bottles of wine every single month. And what you do is you go on their website and you fill out a questionnaire, like flavors that you like, if you like reds or whites, if you like salty foods or all sorts of different questions. And it kind of pairs you up with wines that you would like based on your tastes. And then once it gives you the recommendations for the four wines, it gives you wine pairings like with certain foods and then it also for each wine it gives you like a recipe that you can try with the wine that would be really good with the wine which I think is amazing and every month you get four bottles of wine delivered to your door now with this subscription service you have to go and you have to pick the wines every single month but I think this would be a really cool gift because what you could do you could get a wine subscription and give it to your friend for Christmas so apply using their address and kind of fill out the questionnaire based on what you think that they would like. And then each month they would get the four bottles of wine. But it would be your job to pick the four bottles since you're paying for it. So you would have to go online every month and pick the four bottles that you would want. And then maybe after the third month you could cancel it or do whatever you want if you want to continue it on for five months or six months or a year if you want to even do that for your friend. Um, but you could cancel it whenever you would want, but you would tell them, you know, in the gift, like, I got you a four month wine subscription or a three month, but it would be your job to know when to cancel it, you know, what bottles of wine to pick out for them and things like that. So you would still be involved in this gift for as long as the gift lasted. But I think for your wine loving friends, 
they would absolutely love it. I know I would love to get this, so I think this is such a good idea. It's definitely more of a spendier gift for a friend. Maybe get this for like a daughter or your mom and dad would really like it as well. But the nice thing is, is that if you use my link, you can actually get $22 off your first order, and so you can get four bottles of wine for $39, which is amazing. And also if you refer friends, so let's say you sign up to, you know, give this as a gift. If you refer friends to join this website, you can get points and you can get like $15 per friend that joins Wink, and so you can spend that money on the wine. So it's such a fun website, and I think it's such a good idea to get for wine lovers in your life. So it sends it in a box like this. It's really well packaged. So I got this one here. This is a Chardonnay, and it's Pacificana California Wines. The next one is another white. This is Cape Root, and this is a Chenin Blanc. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not really sure, but that wine label is beautiful. This one is a red, and it is Rosa Obscura, and it is a 2017 red blend. And it looks like this. So this one is a California wine. This is Chop Shop, and it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, and it is 2018. Really, really excited to try all those wines, and I really actually want to try the recipes. I mean, if they're vegetarian, I can't really try them if they're not, but I can't wait to try some of the recipes that they give to go with these wines, and I'm just really, really excited. So definitely check out this website. The next gift idea is a jewelry hanger. Now, this is something that I feel like some girls probably already have, some girls may not. Um, I have like one of those chests that you like hang up all your necklaces in, and you put your rings and your bracelets and everything, but I'm actually thinking I want to get rid of that. Um, so getting like a really cool creative jewelry hanger that they can hang on the wall I think is such a good idea. And the cool thing about this is you can actually go on Etsy and they have so many cool unique ones on there that are like handmade. Sometimes they have like wood, like pieces of wood with like a chain and like hooks hooked into the wood so it looks very rustic. Um, they have all different types. Um, there's some that have shelves, so you can put like a little plant or a little like ring tree and then have your necklaces hanging underneath. I think a jewelry hanger rack is just a no fail product, especially if it's unique and different and just kind of has its own style. Um, for all of my gift ideas, I highly recommend checking out Etsy because Etsy is a great place for getting things that are unique. And I love shopping on Etsy for Christmas presents because I feel like there are things that you can find that nobody else has because they're just unique or they're handmade or somebody has come up with a really good idea and they're selling it on Etsy. So definitely check that place out if you guys want something kind of unique. So the next gift idea is something that I think would be a really fun thing to get. Um, this would be really good for like maybe a teenager, but I honestly would absolutely love to have one of these because I just think it would be really fun. But it's a Polaroid camera. Now, when I was younger, Polaroids were definitely a thing back in the 90s. Um, but I think Polaroids are really fun to kind of like hang up you know, have pictures really, really quickly. Um, I think my daughter Elena would absolutely love to have a Polaroid camera and she's eight years old, but I think college students would love it, high schoolers would love it, and I also think adults would love it because I think there's really fun ways to decorate and use Polaroids for like decor around the house. And I think Polaroid cameras are just fun to have. And they're also really not that expensive um, compared to like a DSLR or something like that. I think they're just a really fun, unique gift that is gonna kind of, that the person receiving it will just enjoy it. It's fun. Who doesn't like taking pictures, right? And a Polaroid camera is just a unique way to take pictures. So the next gift is something that I actually got for my cousin, Chelsea. And this is such a good idea for any grown woman who has a house and or has an apartment or a family or anything like that, anybody that's like moved out of the house, but it is a personalized front door sign. Usually, like I found mine on Etsy, but you can get ones that say like the Anderson family on it, or you can get one with like a big A, like if their last name starts with an A, and then it has like swirls and they can put it up on their front door, kind of like where a wreath would go. They can just hang out on like a wreath hanger. And they're really, really cool. I would absolutely love to have one of these. I just think they look really nice on front doors. You can actually get them small too and you can put them like on the inside of a wreath so they can hang it on their front door with, you know, their monogram on the inside. Like personalized gifts are the best gifts. Like if you can find something with somebody's name on it, I think that's the best type of gift. And these are really fun because it's decor but it also is personalized. And they can also use this, like let's say they have a photo wall, right? Like a photo collage wall. They can use their monogram, like personalized door hanger, and they can actually put it 
like on the wall. They don't have to put it on their door. They could use it as another little addition to their wall collage of pictures, whatever they want to use it for. So the next gift idea is a travel book sleeve and these are good for readers in your life and they make amazing ones on Etsy and basically what they are are these little pouches for your books to put your books in when you travel so your books don't get ruined like in your bag or your purse or when you're carrying it around and it's a really good way to keep your books really nice and clean and neat and they have such amazing fabrics that you can choose from like if you have somebody that loves Harry Potter get them some Harry Potter ones um, you can get a big one and a small one and I think they're such great gifts for the readers in your life because when Whenever I travel, I always use like a book pouch. I actually made my own, which I plan on making a video on how I like DIY'd my own like book sleeve. But I use them every time I travel because if I don't, my books will get destroyed, like in my suitcase and stuff like that. Even if you use it for like a stocking, I think it's a really good idea too. And that brings me to my next one. And I'm so excited to tell you guys about this because it's just been a little hobby of mine that I've been really enjoying doing lately. It kind of turned into like a, well, here's how it happened. I was bored one day and I got this really good idea to make a bookmark and I have a whole bunch of like little like pieces of paper that I'll like stick in a book or like I'll tear off a piece of like a receipt and stick it in my book but I was like I want a nice bookmark that I can just use for all of my books. So I went to um, Joanne Fabrics and I picked up some supplies and I made myself a really cool bookmark and I was so proud of it and it was so fun to make so I ended up buying like a bunch of supplies to make myself a ton of bookmarks and I just was making them and making them and making them and like listening to an audiobook as I was making them and I realized that I don't need like 15 bookmarks so that's when I decided to create an Etsy store and just sell these bookmarks that I've made because I've made so many and I just got out of control because it was just like a fun hobby that I found so I have an Etsy shop for my bookmarks and I wanted to share this with you guys because I think this would be a really good gift to add to the book sleeve. And my bookmarks are called Lush Marks and I kind of did like a whole branding thing with them because why not? And they're like blacks and golds and silvers. I'm gonna do like some white ones, maybe even some like maroon ones. Definitely check out my little bookmark shop. I plan on making more. They might sell out after I make this video but just know that I'll probably be making more throughout December. And if you guys do buy one, I'll try to get them out as soon as I possibly can so you guys can get them before Christmas. Um, but I can't guarantee it if you order too close to Christmas, but I'll try my best. Um, but yeah, definitely check that out. And you could definitely get them with like the book sleeve and then maybe like a Barnes and Noble gift card or something like that. I think that'd be really fun. Just a little self promo. So this next one is so cool and I'm so excited to share this one with you guys because I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, oh, these are amazing. I want one. I hope I get one for Christmas. So it is a like handmade unique camera cord and I use a lot of DSLRs because I'm a youtuber so I have a DSLR that I film with but I also use it to take pictures a lot and right now there is not a cord on it it's just the camera and that's it and I would love to have like a really cool like unique cord to put on my DSLR camera I think it would be really really fun and they're so freaking pretty like I'm obsessed with them I think they're so cool looking so if you have somebody in your life that loves to take pictures that has a DSLR or somebody that you just know really enjoys you know photography I think that this is a really 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 fun idea and I know so many people that would totally love this and I think this is probably one of the best ideas in this video because I think it's so unique and so fun even if they just have a smaller camera too like I think a really cool cord would be awesome because if they're traveling and they want to carry their camera around if they have a cool band to wear with it I think I don't know I just think this is a really fun idea and I kind of want one this year because I need a new cord for my Canon and I think that this is really really fun. So the next gift idea could be for a kid or it could be for maybe a friend in your life who has kids or maybe somebody that's pregnant in your life this would be a really fun gift for them and it is a cookie plate for Santa and I just bought a cookie plate for Santa which I'm going to show you guys soon in another video but I think this would be a really fun idea for a mom so a mom that has kids and you know they want to get into like the holiday spirit getting a plate that's specific for Santa's cookies and milk would be really I think a cute idea and it's unique you can find some really cute ones on Etsy that say like Santa's cookies or whatever and I think it would be fun for the kids as well it's not like the person needs it it's just like a fun addition to the, like the Christmas holiday season so somebody that's pregnant I think it would be really fun because I think when you're pregnant you are really excited for those fun things to do with your kids like once your kids are a little bit grown I think you get really excited to do like those fun traditional things with your kids so 
I don't know, I just think this is a cute idea. That is it, you guys. I hope that some of these items were helpful. I hope that maybe these gave you some like good ideas. I don't know. Um, like I said, if you didn't see anything that you thought your friends would like in this video, definitely check out my last ones. They're all gonna be linked down below so you can go watch my old ones because there's tons of good stuff in those as well. And I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. I love filming videos in December. This is my favorite month of the year to be a YouTuber. I just think it's so much fun. I also wanted to let you guys know really, really quickly is I think I'm going to start a book club in January. So be ready for that if you guys are book lovers. Um, I'm starting one in January. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do live shows or if I'm just going to make a video each month kind of talking about the book of the month. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how you would like a book club to be hosted, definitely comment down below and let me know and maybe I can take some of your guys' suggestions. And also, comment down below any other gift ideas that you guys might have. I know that we all have unique ideas, and I want you guys to share your ideas down below because I think that if they can't find anything from this video, maybe they can go down and get some ideas from you guys as well. So that is it, you guys. I will talk to you in my next video, and I hope you have an amazing day.